him. He hasn't even been out that long. So your boy Offset from the Migos got arrested recently in Atlanta. I'm going to read two of teams he had to say about it. There were two different stories. So here was the original story. It read, and I quote, one of the guys from Migos is back behind bars after Atlanta cops busted him on a suspended license. TMZ has learned. Offset got pulled over outside a sushi restaurant. Pause the story right there. If I was at the sushi restaurant, I would have not been eating fish. I would have been eating a Japanese woman. But back to the story. And when cops ran his name, the suspended license came up and he got arrested. A witness captured the whole incident on camera. Pause the story. The videos on my blog, if you did not see him getting arrested, if you want to see that, you can go ahead and check that out at the link in the description box. Anyway, the story goes on to say, a witness captured the whole incident on camera. The rapper's attorney, Drew Finling, tells TMZ Offset thought the $316 fine for suspended license and failure to appear had been paid when he got out of jail back in December. Remember, Offset spent about eight months behind bars for drugs and weapons charges last year. He eventually struck a deal and got five years probation. His lawyer says Offset can't be bailed out until Friday morning, so he'll be back in a familiar spot for at least one night. Now, they posted the second story on March 18th. TMZ writes, and I quote, Migos rapper Offset is out of jail after being... <laughs> Migos rapper Offset is out of jail after being arrested by mistake Thursday in Atlanta TMZ has learned according to a clerk at the according to a clerk at the Atlanta Municipal Court when Migos was pulled over for having tinted windows the cops saw an outstanding warrant and busted him he stayed in jail overnight and posted a $1,900 bond Friday morning but the rapper went right back to court to argue he paid a $316 suspended license ticket back in December, which should have settled the matter. The court tells TMZ Offset was right and never should have been arrested. He should get his $1,900 back in the next few weeks. The clerk says Offset still got a new ticket for the tinted windows, though his attorney says that was tossed as well. End quote. So let's get this straight. This dude, sir, eight months in jail. He finally got his freedom and they just happened to arrest him by mistake because something was there in the system that shouldn't have been there. Some alleged $316 ticket. And then they gave him a ticket for some tinted windows, but they had to reimburse him or whatever, or at least take it off the record. This is some sloppy, shoddy police work. Pun intended. Shoddy, you know, because the police are shooting somebody. This is some sloppy police work for the record. And I mean, nobody's really surprised because this is just what they do. It's just how they are. It's just the way that they operate. They take our tax dollars and then they don't do their job. Could you imagine going to work in the morning and you sit up there and just don't do your job, but you still get paid? You know, I think that since the police make so many mistakes across America, and remember, we only hear a fraction of the stories where they screw things up killing unarmed people, shooting people's children to death, doing all sorts of heinous things. I think this should be fine. I think that, for example, like how you get a parking ticket or something like that, I think they should be ticketed when they screw up. For example, you get somebody arrested by like accident or whatever, rather a mistake like what happened with offset, they should have to pay, for example, $1,000. You know, you shoot somebody's child or some unarmed person or whatever, then that's a million dollar fine or a two million dollar fine. In my opinion, they should be ticketed for all of these stupid things that they're doing. And they'll definitely start to be a little more careful next time once they realize there's something on the line, not just their job, but an actual fine. They should not be treated as if they're above the law. They're supposed to be law enforcement officers or leos and they absolutely refuse to do their jobs they're like no we're not gonna do our job and, and, and there's nothing you can do about it but we need to all get together regardless of race religion gender or any other pseudo differences because you know what they say united we stand divided we fall and on this particular issue since this affects all of us we need to do something about it but you know 
the mainstream media paints it as a young black male problem and the reason why they do that is because they know that young so-called black men are the least cared about people in America so as long as they paint police corruption as something that young so-called black men from the so-called hood have to deal with people will disassociate from it and even when something happens to them and the police carry out a crime don't do their job etc they'll still say well that's just a fluke that's just a little glitch in the matrix it was obviously a mistake and police corruption is a young black guy problem a young black hood guy problem plus the other reason why a lot of people disassociate from it is because they're like hey if the police doesn't get away with hurting and killing these young black men who else is going to do it so people were basically cheering on the murder just like that ems supervisor the one who who said that he wishes that he would have been able to kill 12 year old tamir rice and called him a little criminal did you guys hear about that just some food for thought anyways let me know what you think about it all below have you ever been arrested by mistake have you ever heard of anybody or ever known anybody who's arrested by mistake let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com follow me on twitter at meat magazine if you're not following me on twitter i don't know why and, and and i'm offended i'm gonna call the police on you